Now with James Barnacle, a top FBI official who oversees teams looking into frauds and scams. He's here with a warning for Americans heading into the fall about scams and new ways scam artists are targeting people with a stunning amount of money lost every year. Mr. Barnacle, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. And, and, and why do you feel it's important for you to be here and to warn Americans? Well, we are seeing significant increases in frauds over the last four or five years. Last year, Americans reported losses to the FBI of $12.5 billion. And we've hmm. seen a significant increase so far this year. And um, you, we cover a lot of scam, things about scams here and, and, and all the time. And some of the victims, they reach them through text, they reach them through emails. But there is, is seeing more scammers who are showing up at people's homes and acting as if they're someone, a person in authority. Yes, so the two biggest schemes we're seeing right now are investment frauds, especially crypto related. And secondly, is impersonation schemes or tech repair schemes. So people think that their computers or their bank accounts are compromised. And the fraudsters will tell the victim, withdraw cash and we'll come to your house. A government official will come to your house, pick up your money, keep it in safe keep keeping. Uh, we see people across the country falling victim to this, especially our elderly. And those are the two top scams now, impersonation and, and also crypto. Crypto, crypto investment frauds uh, primarily. So last year, Americans reported $5.6 billion in losses to cryptocurrency related schemes. About 3.8 billion of that was investment frauds mm. uh, in crypto. And we've seen about a 12% increase uh, so far this year in those frauds. And what are the top two things that people can do when they answer the phone or they open their door? You said part of it, just take a beat. Yeah, take a beat. Um, Relax. Don't be emotional when you're talking to people. The, the fraudsters want you to be emotional and make a quick decision and give money. So you should look at things with a healthy dose of skepticism. If, it's, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Probably sounds too good to be true. Probably put you in a lot of pressure at the same time. Yeah, they want victims. Uh, fraudsters are trying to make people emotional. Mm -hmm. And when folks make an emotional decision, they often make a, a bad decision. Well, we're happy you didn't take a beat to get here to tell us all about this. Well, thanks for having us, and thanks to your viewers for, for listening about the fraud problem in the United States. All right, James Barnacle, thank you so much. And here at GMA, we're going to be investigating the latest scams, spending all month on this in our new series, or in our series, Scam You, all to protect your money, your identity, even your home. In fact, on Friday, Rebecca, you have a new warning. Yeah, that's right, Michael. Um, I've been digging into this, talking to the victims. There is this alarming new report about a rise in property theft, people's land and vacant homes are being stolen right from under their nose. It is a crime that is skyrocketing over the year, the last couple of years, and we're digging into it and talking to the FBI about what you can do as the first line of defense.